Today, we'll talk about how to set up the YARP middleware for your Minimal Web API application. I have a Minimal Web API here with SignalR setup. It has a broadcast endpoint. When you send a message to the broadcast endpoint, it broadcasts the message to all the connected clients. We have a Blazor VASM application here. If I open the index.racer, you will see that it iterates through the reminders and it displays the reminder here. Let's go ahead and try this out. So if I were to send the message here, you will see that the message is basically showing up on the client. So let's stop this. The reason this is currently working is because if you open the API, we'll see that we have set up the API course policy to allow the Siglar client. You'll see that the server is running on 7007 and our Blazor VASM client is running on 7292. Now let's see how we can set up YARP for this application. So I'll go and uh, install NuGet package. I'll first go and search for YARP. We'll find your reverse proxy. Let's install the latest version. I'll accept. Okay, the package is installed. So let's go back to the API here. So the first step here is to um, add the reverse proxy to builder.services. So we'll go ahead and replace our cores with this. So you'll see that uh, it needs to load the config from the configuration. We'll get to this right after this. So we also need to add the app.map reverse proxy. So I'll go ahead and replace the course policy with the reverse proxy here. So now let's open the app settings.json. So you'll see that there is a sample configuration here. So I'm going to copy this reverse proxy section. We will um, we'll customize it based on our needs once we have it here. Okay. So we have a route section and a cluster section. The routes tell the proxy which request to forward and the clusters tell the proxy where and how to forward the request. So here you will see that uh, for the sample, we have example.com. We know that our client is running in 7292. So we'll copy this and we'll paste it here. Okay, so now that we have set this up, let's go ahead and run this application. and uh, we will refresh this. Now you should actually see that it will fail. So if I were to send this message right now, it's not going to show this message here because now it is actually going to fail because we removed our course policy. So you will actually see here that it is failing because of the, um, of the, because the request is originated from the other domain. So let's close this. So how do we make this work? So all we have to do right now is let's copy the uh, endpoint for our API application. Let's paste it here. Let's go to the route, the root of the application. So now we should see that this is forwarding the request to our Blazor VASM. So now if I were to send this request again, you will actually see that the message is displaying on the client. Hope you enjoyed the session today. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.